hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so we are going to be making this lovely yum porridge we're going to be needing tomato onion fresh pepper for this recipe I'm also going to be using palm oil for this, crayfish, I'm using upaka, two smoked fish, scent leaves, you can use any vegetable of your choice, I have seasoning Cuban salt and now I'm going to start prepping. Hey lovey, how have you guys been? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy. If you are a returning subscriber, I am saying thank you. And if this is your first time here, thank you as well. Please stay tuned and enjoy this amazing recipe. Also leave a comment on the comment section so I can hear from you. So now I'm just preparing my things. I just diced my tomato into smaller chops as I want it. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with my fresh peppers. Always remember to use as much peppers as you can tolerate. This is the much I can tolerate, so this is the much I'm using. You can also use any vegetable of your choice. I love scent leaf and this is what I could lay my hands on for this. So you can use spinach, you can use, use ugu, whatsoever vegetable you like. Just go ahead and do you. And now I uh, am yeah. so this is my yam um, and um, this is the last thing I want to bring on because of its nature so I'm just going to go ahead and cut I'm going to cut into parts before I start slicing my yam I didn't want to do this first and then start using the same knife for my processing so that's why I'm doing this last And also, um, 
if you're buying yam now you should notice that it's new yam so be careful because it's going to be a lot scratching so once this yam touches your skin you're going to have to scratch and scratch and scratch now you go ahead and you cut your yam into small chunks the perfect size you want it and then you want you wash the yam in a bowl of water let's start cooking properly so my pot is already dried and I'm adding palm oil to it now next I'm going to come in with my chopped onion I'll stir this and allow it to fry for about two minutes Then I'll bring in my pepper. Also allow this to fry for about two minutes. Now I'm going to add my tomato to this. I'm just going to stir it. Well, if this is your first time, of joining us welcome guys please take note I love staying a lot thank you so I'm going to bring my blended crayfish but I'm not going to bring in everything now so I'm just going to be adding some and I'll keep the rest for later and now I'm going to bring in waka African oil bean seed I love this it's it's a very healthy bean for you it's high in protein and it's good for the eyes it's actually good for your body and I love it I love having it in my porridge so now I'm going to allow this to fry for 10 minutes I'm going to add seasoning cube to this I'm not going to be bringing in salt yet I'll do that later Now I'm going to bring in my yam. Remember, we already diced, already cut our yam into smaller chops and uh, chunks rather. And this yam is washed already, so I'm going to bring it in now. Personally, I like my yam to be in small chunks, but this is a bit big because I'm not the only one having this. So if you're cooking for someone or you're cooking for an occasion, don't make it so small. Remember, I said I was going to add salt later. I just added salt now. I'm adding the rest of my crayfish to this. I added my smoked fish as well, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up properly. I'll come in with water. Okay, if you're asking me the quantity of water you need, you just need as much water that can cook the yam. And because this yam is new yam, I made this mistake. Please don't. Don't add so much water at a time because the yam cooks faster because it's, it's new yam. So you can add it bit by bit. If it's not well cooked, you can add more water. So I added too much water at a time. I'm just trying to make sure that the yam is well soaked in my juice or in the sauce. So at this point, I felt the water was not covering the yam enough. So I added some more water, which couldn't have done. Now I'm just going to cover this and cook for 12 minutes. Cook on your normal heat. It doesn't have to be so high or so low. It's over 12 minutes now and this is looking almost ready. You can see the water is getting thick. If your water is not thick yet and you're wondering what to do, just take one piece of your yam and match it and put it back into the pot. It will make it thick faster, faster than usual. So now I'm going to bring in my sliced vegetable.
and once you put this vegetable just know that this meal is ready because it's not going to cook for more than three minutes no more so i'm just going to add this you can use any vegetable of your choice you can use spinach you can use ugu whatsoever you want to use so i'm going to cover this and i'm going to cook for only three minutes and please guys i haven't said this please like subscribe and share this video thank you so now at this point all you have to do is stir this properly this is ready stir properly then turn off the heat and allow it to cool down before you serve thank you All right, guys, thank you for staying tuned. This is our porridge. Please leave a comment on the comment section. Till we meet again, bye.